Coverage for this year's East Coast Rep Rap Fest is brought to you by Pia Poly. Check them and their new Magneto X FDM 3D printer out at the link in the description. So we are here with Sam at East Coast Rep Rap Fest 2023 with E3D and Revo is now two years old. Time flies. So when it first launched, you just had a brass nozzle, standard, standard flow, high flows out and some new stuff, which we're going to we're going to take a look at what's recently new and then what's very new. <laughs> so, Sam, what do we have here? What do we have? Cool. Yeah. So, as you said, Revo has been out for a while now um, and we have been working our hardest to complete the ecosystem. And so that included recently, uh, a couple of weeks back, we launched High Temp, which we're super excited about. Um, this is obviously focused more towards industrial applications. Um, it has a different block system, so it doesn't use the same heater core. Um, it has a more traditional looking block with a heater cartridge and an optional either PT100 or PT1000. It's an LB to go to those high attempts. So um, you can get this up to, there's a 400C variant and a 500C variant, yes, right? and the difference there is the heater. The base heater doesn't have enough power when you're going to those high ultems and stuff to just get all the heat soak in there. So um, you need to go to the the high power heater. Um, so is, is that why you drop, because on a standard Revo, you have the, the ceramic heater, it's all integrated. Now we've gone back to, I guess you would say the old style where you have a separate cartridge and a separate temperature sensor yeah. in a block, but that's because the temperatures made the most sense at those temps? Um, a lot of it is for longevity. Longevity, um, okay. Yeah, so the, the key thing here is um, what you don't want when you're doing your in industrial high temp applications, you don't want it to fail on you. So yep. you, what we want it to be as robust as, as possible. The standard heater core is perfect. It's gonna, gonna last you uh, for a very long time, up to those 300 degree temperatures. When you start pushing it to the higher temps, that's when you start to run with issues. Yeah, um, and, and you've sent me one, so these do reach 500 C, <laughs> and they're pretty quick at it too. Yeah, as your fan ducks now know. <laughs> so, so don't be mounting it in like a PLA mount or even ABS. You you want and like an engineering grade plastic mount yes. that's high temp rated. D definitely need that, yeah. Now there are some separate Revo nozzles for high temp now, right? So what makes these ones special? So the ones that we have out at the moment, um, they are abrasive resistant as well. Um, so they use the same assembly technology that we've done for Obsidian. Um, so it's got the, the steel uh, insert with a copper body. So then you get your nice thermals and your wear performance. But instead of the down -like carbide coating that we use, um, we have gone for a chrome nitride coating, um, which enables us to hit these high temperatures whilst maintaining um, wear resistance. We're gonna use that segue there for for abrasives because yes. you've been, you you guys have been talking with the guys across the street here at Diamondback and there's now a Diamondback Revo. There is. Um, so yeah. that's over it's here. this way, yeah, let's come and have a look. So yeah, we've got a, a couple of them on at the moment. Um, so they are coming in the 0 0.25, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0.8 millimeter nozzle sizes. Um, yeah, we're super excited about this. Um, it's been in the works for a while with the Diamondback guys, there's been both, both companies have been getting a lot of requests to like, hey, you should work with these guys, work with these guys. And um, yeah, so we, we've listened to what people are after and we've, we've brought that out. So um, this um, obviously has the, the diamond insert in there, um, which has in, incredible wear performance. So if you are someone that is printing the gnarliest of the gnarliest um, carbon fibers, or even glow in the darks, because the the stuff to put in the glow in the dark is horrible. Like yeah. it, it is one of actually the worst um, ones for, for wearing nozzles away, which can often get overlooked. Um, but there's also things like um, a lot of companies are coming out with um, metal fills. Um, and when you're doing metal fills, if you need support, you can't use the metal fill as your support because you can't break it off when you send it to sintering. So then you use ceramic interface layers. Um, and that is essentially like a honing paste. Like it, yeah. it, it's the same thing you use for like wearing away metal. So, yeah. so, <laughs> so there is Obsidian and there's Diamondback now. Yeah. So there are, they have two systems, but this is really for those engineering grade, you're printing metal, you're printing ceramics. Yeah. Obsidian will handle abrasives just fine. Yeah. But if you need more, they got more now. Yeah. So awesome. And then Super excited. lastly, you got this guy. Yeah. That <laughs> looks like a bamboo hot end with a Revo in it. And that's what that is basically. <laughs> that that right? is exactly what it is, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's definitely been a busy time. Um, 
And so this is something we've been working on uh, with our friends over at BQ. And so it's a, a collaborative exercise where um, we have managed to get a heatsink design that they have been working on that pairs with our Revo and as a drop-in replacement. Um, they've been doing loads of testing with this um, and as you've seen from some of the printers that have it on here at the show, um, it's directly drop-in, you don't need to change any of your settings, but it means that you can go to the different nozzle sizes that uh, Revo enables. Yeah, and, and it also makes jams a lot easier to deal with on the bamboo. For, yeah. for those that have never used a bamboo machine, the hot end's basically a single unit, so yeah. you gotta have to take the whole hot end out to clear a jam in some cases, versus now, yeah. you can just unscrew your nozzle like a, a normal printer. Working on that, you said it's dropping, because on a bamboo, again, for those that don't know, you, you can't PID tune a bamboo. Yeah. So anything you, you that goes in that machine has to just work. And it just works, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. There's nothing to do. Just need, it comes with all the right connectors and cables and all of that. So you simply pop off the cover um, and then essentially just do a, a, a hot end change. Or you would traditionally do a hot end change if you're wanting to change nozzle sizes in bamboo. Um, but the joy is you only have to do it the once and then you can just swap the nozzles in and out. Um, which means that you can throw any of the stuff we've been talking about. So um, you can get the high flow in there. So bamboo is obviously a very fast printer, but yep. you can get it faster. And then you can throw your diamond back in there, your obsidian, whatever you need. Because um, those are being used a lot more for um, like print farms as well yep. as personal uses. So yeah, you can really, really push the limits of that machine. Awesome. Gone are the days when the Revo launched where we just had a brass nozzle and everyone's like, you know, obsidian when, abrasive when, high flow when, and well, it's now, it's here. You can go get it. So thanks for chatting with us, Sam here at Earth. Take it easy. Pull. We got 340, 360, 390, 330. <laughs> 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 you got 302. Come on, guys. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> you guys get tired. You guys get tired. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right on average. Woo. Yeah. Freaking light. <laughs> oh, it cramped up.